This is Jason Smith. Hey, how are you? He's an animal experience keeper at Auckland Zoo. Today we'll be lucky enough to go behind the scenes to the reptile house where the public aren't usually allowed to go. Wow, this is really cool. Yeah, this is where we keep a lot of our reptiles here at the zoo. So this is Dewey. Dewey here is a shelter pusik or a glass lizard. So she's a type of legless lizard. She looks a lot like a snake. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? There's actually a lot of differences between a legless lizard and a snake. Do you know any? Well, I know that legless lizards have a really long tail, but snakes actually have a really short tail. Yeah, that's right. So right here is where her cloaca is. That's basically her bottom. So her tail starts from right here. It goes all the way down the end. Now, if she was a snake, her bottom might be all the way down here, and then her tail would start after that. And if she's afraid, she'll actually make her tail fall off. Now, there are lots of lizards that can make their tail fall off, but a glass lizard, if they make their tail fall off, they can make it shatter. So that big, long tail falls into lots of little pieces, and then each of those little pieces will wriggle around. It's really special. It's very cool. Do you see those holes in the side of her head? Yeah. What do you think they are? I have no idea. Ears. So snakes actually don't have ear holes like this does. But she can also blink or close her eyes, which is something that snakes can't do. Snakes don't have eyelids like a shelter poopsick or a legless lizard does. Bye, Julie. So over here is where Steve lives. And Steve is actually a bearded dragon. He's so cool. We actually just recently found out that Steve is actually a girl, so we might need to change his name to Stevie. So what we're going to do today is we're going to feed her. We've got lots of locusts for her. Whoa, she looks hungry. Stevie loves a good feed. But Steve here is a lizard, which means she is an ectotherm. So that means she can't actually control her own body temperature. So to warm up, she needs to go somewhere warm, and then to cool down, she needs to go somewhere cooler. So in the new enclosure that we build, we need to make sure she's got lots of options so she can regulate her own body. In Stevie's enclosure, there were stones, logs, leaves, and other dead branches. It's really easy to hold onto a lizard like Steve. So all you need to do is have a big flat hand like this. All right, excellent. There you go. Steve is very heavy. What does he feel like? He's kind of rough or smooth? Very rough on its back. Yeah, so these guys have lots of spikes on them because it deters predators. Would, would you want to eat something that was all spiky? Definitely not. No. He's so cool. It's actually really enriching for him to be out here. He gets to experience different weather uh, conditions. He gets to see different people. Uh, people will get to have a little pat of him and kind of just see what he's all about. And it's really good because our visitors will also get to uh, connect with an animal like, like uh, Steve here, which they probably don't see very often uh, out and about in New Zealand. Today's been amazing. The legless lizard freaked me out a little bit, but holding the bearded dragon was awesome. And introducing Stevie to the public was really cool as well. See ya!